Support for Just Seen It comes from Warner Archive Instant. Streaming hard to find movies and TV shows direct from the studio at WarnerArchiveInstant.com. Support for Just Seen It comes from Weaver's Coffee and Tea, makers of hand roasted artisan coffee and hand blended tea. Learn more at Weaver'sCoffee.com. Kimball Beauty, offering a complete line of hair care products, is a proud sponsor of Just Seen It. Great hair equals great confidence. Learn more at KimballBeauty.com. Flight attendant Montana Moore is hopelessly single. This could make her the oldest in her family never to wed. It's not a man I need, it's a husband or a potential husband in a month. So she embarks on a cross country journey to find a fiance in baggage claim. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm Aaron. And I'm Brenna, and we're here to talk about the new romantic comedy, Baggage Claim. We've all just seen it. Who wants to uh, start us off? So this movie is directed and written by David D. Talbert, based on a novel of the same name, which I feel like is not a bestseller. It's the, it's the story of the woman who is looking for love, and she looks all over the world. She actually looks all over the country in this case, literally. She's a flight she attendant, look, so she can do yeah. that. She didn't look right outside of her front door to the perfect neighbor. Even given the ridiculous premise, which is not great, if this movie was funnier while we had these encounters with each ex-lover, I would forgive it somewhat. But these encounters are so not funny. You're exactly right. I mean, Paula Patton's going from place to place with these different guys. We have like Tay Diggs, Jaimon Hansu, Trey Songs. They're all playing the various people that she's dated in her life that she still has on her phone for some reason. There's nothing that interesting about them. Instead, you just get a little bit of story about them and we it get either result. Yeah, it either cliche result. Cliche jokes like, oh, here's a black Republican. He's so and funny because he, he does this and he has a dog. He trained to it's a tiny dog. Pee on command with the worst sound effect of peeing ever. Yeah. If any of this film was surprising, if there were any twists that you didn't see coming a mile away, that would help the film. Out of all the performances, I liked that Adam Brody was able to play the gay sidekick without um, lisping once. Right. He avoided all stereotypes, except for, you know, the wardrobe department didn't get that message about avoiding stereotypes. Oh, he's the most well-dressed gay yeah. best friend you'll see. But <laughs> the way he plays the character is, is sort of like an actual person and not a walking stereotype. And that, that is the only thing I would say, is that, you know what? The acting is about as good as it could be considering how awful the writing is, but you cannot save a film that's just got bad characters, bad dialogue, and a bad premise. Paula Patton, the whole way through, does about as good a job as she can do given what she's working with. She's not the most gifted comedic actress, I'd give you that, but she's, she's, she's very likable. I like yeah. her as the lead role. It's a little strange that she's able to wake up at all times of day looking as amazing as Paula Patton does, but I mean... It's because this movie was directed by a man. <laughs> yeah, no, but I will, like, she hit every ridiculous plot twist that she had to do. She was able to contort herself to uphold the script as best as, as a person can, and for that, you know, I, I do feel like she acted her butt off in this. I just wish it had been something better that she was I guess given. She, yeah, Paula Patton essentially has the straight person role to play in this film, so she can kind of see other all the other characters that have various things about them that make them quirky or fun. Yeah. Fun. Montana, does this single rose mean um, you're not single anymore? It's nothing. <laughs> Listen, Cherie's fiance is taking us all out to dinner tonight. I'm borrowing those earrings I bought you for Christmas. Oh, yes, honey. <laughs> but Derek Luke playing uh, I like Derek Luke the real love interest. Yeah, he's very endearing. Yeah. He's very sweet in this. Yeah, I like Derek Luke quite a bit. He has, he's an interesting character. He has a girlfriend played by Christine Milian. He's, he's got some neat aspects to him that I, I enjoyed what they're developing with him given that Paula Patton can only do so much playing the character she has. Something I don't tend to notice often in these kind of movies, it's the kind of production values, but this film looked noticeably very cheap. There was a lot of green screen shots when they're driving flying places. Oh my god, the places. worst green screen, right? green screen in the car. It was awful. Yeah. You could see the fuzz where they tried to blend the green. It was, I haven't seen green screen that bad in a long time. It's not the kind of thing where you need to focus on, cause, but at the same time, it's like if I'm being distracted by the movie because of the quality of the production, then that's obviously a problem. So this is David E. Talbert's perception of what women are like, which is frankly a little bit insulting. We're, we're these fluffy characters that only care about hard abs and rich men and beautiful houses with good bodies. I don't know how fair that is, because she turns down all the people who fit that she description. She does at the end, but that's the only thing that keeps us watching for the first hour and a half. Montana Moore. Eamon Diesel. Montana. Quentin. Montana. Montana. 
Curtis. It's basically like a Cinderella story for an eight-year-old, but they've decided it's now for like adult women. Adult it is. Women. It's a fantasy. That's what the movie but is. But it's a it, fantasy that's just got it's got no grit. It's got no. It doesn't. And there's movies it's, that are similar to this that have you know have like an all-black cast, and they, it's they're they're better written, or they're more entertaining, or they have characters that you appreciate more. So it doesn't matter that the this. stories are too cliched or not because you're into what's going on here. It's like yeah, okay, I like these people enough where it's like all right, you know, following a certain pattern, but it doesn't matter. I'm having a fun time. I can't say I had much of a fun time watching Baggage Claim that wasn't except involved. to make fun of it. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> an unintentional humor that I'm watching. And it just makes me feel bad to make fun of it. I'm just like oh. So few black movies get made. The fact that this is one of them is depressing. Skip it. This is a Cinderella story for a brainless woman. The writing is horrible, the characters aren't great, and the acting can't save it. Skip it. I've seen many better examples of rom-coms. You can carry on your luggage and walk past baggage claim. Skip it. Cheers! To better movies. Yeah, I'm gonna take the train. And we're here to talk about the newest film from People. Who is this? Who, do we care who this from is from? People. Support for Just Seen It comes from Weaver's Coffee and Tea, makers of hand roasted artisan coffee and hand blended tea. Learn more at Weaver'sCoffee.com. Support for Just Seen It comes from Warner Archive Instant. Streaming hard-to-find movies and TV shows direct from the studio at WarnerArchiveInstant.com. Kimball Beauty, offering a complete line of hair care products, is a proud sponsor of Just Seen It. Great hair equals great confidence. Learn more at KimballBeauty.com.